What is going on, everybody? Today, we're talking about an absolute steal by the Chicago Bears in trading for pass rusher Montez Sweat. As you guys know, Montez Sweat was a former first-round pick. He just turned 27, and I think the guy has just entered his prime. And I know some Bears fans may not like the trade because you do give up a second-round pick. But I'll be the first to tell you guys, most second-round picks are never going to become the caliber of player Montez Sweat already is. And today, we're going to analyze this tape. We're going to talk about his pass rush a little bit first, and then we'll get into his run defense second. Very, very fired up for this film breakdown. Let's just jump right into it. So this was Montez Sweat's most recent sack against the Eagles. This season, he does have eight total sacks already. Now, this one's more of a high effort sack, in my opinion, but this is also a run pass option. So the quarterback could technically hand the football off, and he's going to choose to keep it, and he looks to possibly throw it. But you can see he gets a little bit of pressure from the inside. And then the quarterback almost tries to take off running with the football. Uh, but this does technically count as a sack, and Montez Sweat does get the credit for it. But you can see within this play, the tackle is going to jump outwards towards Montez Sweat. So the defensive end has to match that. He has to get his hands on the right tackle on this one. He does a nice job not allowing the reach, gets the hands on the tackle, creates the separation between him and arguably the best right tackle in the NFL. And when he recognizes the running back does not have the football, he gets off the block. And from there, he's going to be able to find the football. He's going to bring down the quarterback. So it's a good high effort play by Montez Sweat. Let's go ahead and get into a couple more of his pass rushes to really analyze what this guy is going to bring to the Chicago Bears. So Montez Sweat will not get credit for a sack on this one, but he is the guy that creates this, this pressure, right? He is the guy that allows this play to ultimately be a sack. Now this play only lost about a yard or two, but you can see right away how Montez Sweat is able to beat Lane Johnson. You can see what Montez Sweat does to Lane Johnson to win this rep. The right tackle is going to close the distance between him and Montez Sweat. And Sweat is one of those guys that's very twitchy. He's one of those guys that can move very, very well. And you see it on this play here. The right tackle jumps out to Sweat, and Sweat just straight up beats him right to the inside. He's going to angle his body to the left as he's going to hit some sort of speed rush. And bam, he comes right back to the inside, uses the hands, creates the separation. He does have a good wingspan, right? He is 6'6", so he is kind of lengthy, and you can see it here. He's going to get the hands into the chest create the separation between him and Lane Johnson, and he gets pressure to the quarterback. So that's a really, really nice job right there by Montez Sweat to win the rep, allows his other defensive end to ultimately chase it down and make the play. Loss of a yard. Yes, Montez Sweat won't get credit for the sack, but we all saw the play. He is the reason why this play was a sack, right? So that's a great job right there by Sweat. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You got another sack here by Sweat. This one is a run pass option. Uh, Tyrell Taylor is going to keep the ball. He's going to look to throw it. And you can see Montez Sweat's going to get him on this one. Love the athletic ability by Sweat. Uh, you can see within this play, as soon as he recognizes that the quarterback has the ball, look at him get around the block, hit from 0 to 100, and get to the quarterback. So really nice, quick way to bring the quarterback down. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You got Montez Sweat, who's going to go up against Darnell Wright, and he's going to beat the rookie right tackle on this one with a push-pull concept, and this is how you win, all right? Montez Sweat understands where certain guys are in terms of their development, and we've seen uh, Darnell Wright lose, right, Bas basically leaning into guys. We we've seen that happen a couple times now this season. Uh, they didn't all necessarily go for sacks, but... Uh, this is one of the ways to beat, especially rookies who don't have the strength yet to match the NFL strength, right? And Darnell Wright's not there yet. He's, he's a year away from really developing that. Uh, but this is a good job by Montez Sweat, not handing the football off, and then he's going to get his hands into Darnell Wright. He's going to push him, and he's going to kind of pull him back down. And that's going to work for the sack. So that's a great job right there by Montez Sweat. Gives a soft little rip move as well in there. He brings down Justin Fields. So really, really nice job. Let's get into the next snap. You got another really, really nice rep here by Montez Sweat. Uh, once again against Darnell Wright, he's going to do a great job using the right hand as leverage, pinning with the left hand and basically pressuring the quarterback. Of course, Justin Fields does a great job kind of getting out of there. Uh, let's break this play down a little bit. Really, really nice job. So the right hand is going to ultimately land right to the inside chest. Sweat is going to push with the right hand and with the left hand, he's going to pin the right arm at Darnell Wright. He's going to use the left hand and kind of pull at the same time. He's going to rip right there and break the contact. That's a beautiful pass rush move by Montez Sweat. Uh, he's not the most fine-tuned pass rusher, but the guy has moves to help him win. He has moves that he's definitely developed since his time in college. And you're starting to see those flashes, right? You're really starting to see it this season, especially on tape. 
I think Montez Sweat has a lot of high quality sacks. He's beaten a lot of really good offensive tackles. You know, sometimes guys will not beat high quality tackles and their plays are really just effort plays. They're cleanup sacks and those type of things. That's not true with Montez Sweat. The guy actually beats some of the best tackles in the NFL. You see him beat Darnell Wright on this one. It's a really, really good job. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You got another really, really nice pass rush move by Montez Sweat. Uh, this time, he's going to just straight up use the Hezzy move. Uh, to me, this is this is part of what makes certain guys great, and it's part of what makes Montez Sweat such a good football player. Uh, he's going to basically get out of his stance. He's in a one-on-one situation with the right tackle. He's going to just Hezzy. And you can see this right tackle does not know what the hell to do. He's just caught off balance. He doesn't know where to go. Montez Sweat fakes it to the inside and ultimately he's going to come back to the outside. And just like that, this tackle gets gets caught leaning. He gets caught trying to set up and take on a Montez Sweat. And Sweat just runs right around him. And he does give the right rip move right there to the tackle. So he can't actually get his hands on the pass rusher. And with that, he gets the quarterback. It is an incomplete pass. It's a really, really nice job right there by Montez Sweat. Watch the hand-to-hand pass rush technique on this one. The fighting, the first move to the second move to the third move it's a really nice job right there you can see the pass ultimately falls incomplete uh, so second and eight this is just a really 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 nice job so let's analyze this play a little bit so first and foremost he's going to has you right out of his stance a little bit try to get the offense tackle off balance he throws a double hand swipe it doesn't work then he has to go to a second pass rush move he's going to chop down the right arm of the offensive tackle he's going to try to hit the corner it doesn't work and then at that point, he's going to go to his third move, which is he's going to get the right hand underneath the offense tackle and kind of throw him to the side using that power. And then he gets to the quarterback. To me, it's a really, really nice shot by Montez Sweat. To be able to go through your first to your second to your third move and beat this offensive tackle. Remember, we're watching this right now in slow motion. It didn't happen as slow as we're analyzing it. You know, we didn't stop the play in the middle of the play, right? In real time, this is so much quicker, faster, and he gets there right in real time he gets there as fast as you want him to really really nice play right there let's get into the next snap check this one out you're gonna see him bull rush the right tackle on this one just a really really nice physical powerful rep uh, to really just cause that disruption right so great job on that one part of what makes a montez sweat such a special player is he has the hand-to-hand passers technique he has the bull rush ability And that right there is going to allow a guy to have success. It's going to allow him to be disruptive. Final pass rush we're going to look at, and then we'll look at some of his run reps. Really nice shot beating a really good left tackle in DJ Humphreys. Just straight up beats him with the hezzy, the chop, hits the corner, and gets to the quarterback. I mean, to me, this is such a nice shot. Now, he isn't technically the one that gets there first. Uh, Jonathan Allen actually gets there, but you see the hezzy move to the inside, and then he's going to jump to the outside. He's going to swipe down the offensive tackle's hands. The offense tackle leans forward, is caught off balance. Montez Sweat hits the corner, and he's right there, right? He doesn't technically get the sack. It actually gets credited to the other defensive lineman, but that's still a really nice, high-quality win by Montez Sweat. There's so many other snaps that we didn't really analyze when it came to his pass rush, but the guy's a very, very solid pass rusher. Trust me when I say that. This guy's going to end up with like six more sacks minimum this season. All right, but I do want to switch focus and get into some of Montez Sweat's run reps because to me, it's very, very impressive on tape. Uh, you can make the argument he is a better run defender than he is a pass rusher. And that's not saying he's a bad pass rusher. He's still a good pass rusher. But it's plays like this that really stick out to me. Uh, this play is textbook, if you guys ask me. When the guy in front of you is trying to reach and get to a linebacker the way the tight end here is, you're not supposed to just let him have a free release. You're supposed to get the hands on him. And as this guy's trying to get through here, you're supposed to get skinny and close the distance down. And the point in doing that is because when there's a puller coming over here to your side, you don't want this guy to be able to make contact with you. At the same time, you want to keep your linebackers free. So you keep your hands on the tight end here. You close the distance. And when you know that the running back is coming and you're able to get off the block, you toss that guy to the side and you make the play. This is textbook defense right here from a rule perspective to the way it's taught the way the coaching staff wants it this is the perfect play right here to really show any other guy that needs to learn how to play the run one of the things that's unique with montez sweat is when tight ends try to block this guy it's a very difficult thing to do you can see on this one here this is an inside run which means the tight end should be able to hold the block here there is no reason why montez sweat should be the guy making this play the play is literally an inside run 
But sometimes what happens on these plays is Montez Sweat, as he makes contact with these guys, he starts pushing them backwards. He starts closing the gap between where this tight end is and where the blocks here are. So to me, this is part of what Montez Sweat's going to bring to the Chicago Bears. It's a really, really nice job to close the distance. And of course, he gets in there. This play only picked up about a yard. It's a really, really nice job by Sweat. Now, he doesn't only do this against tight ends. He can also hold his ground against offensive tackles. This is a great example of that. This is an outside zone run to the right. Uh, to me, one of the things as a tackle you have to do on an outside zone is you got to create the, the lane. You got to create movement. You have to take this defensive lineman and either push him out of there or if he wants to play the run, flip the hips and hook his ass. But within this play, Montez Sweat doesn't allow either to happen. He not only holds the block to the outside, he creates the separation. But when the running back does try to bend this back to the inside, he gets off the block and also makes the play to the inside. It doesn't get better than this. This is arguably the greatest way to defend these type of runs. You make contact with these tackles. You create the separation. You hold the block. You keep the outside arm free. You get off the block when the running back tries to go to the inside because there's no lane to the outside. This is textbook run defense right here. You got another one here. Once again, Montez Sweat's going to hold his block, this time against Darnell Wright. Darnell Wright is a very good run blocker, right? We all know what Darnell Wright can do when it comes to being able to create that movement. Now, this one looks like an outside zone as well. And again, Montez Sweat holds the block. To me, this is a powerful ass defensive end. Now, this is how you stop the run. You got to set that edge. And this is part of what's allowed the Washington football team over the past couple of years be very, very solid against the run. It's because they've had a Montez Sweat type of defensive lineman. So it's a great job right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Once again, watch Montez Sweat hold his block, get off the block, and make the play. I mean, to me, this is such a beautiful job by Sweat because this is a pitch play to the right. And when you pitch the football here, you expect the running back to be able to hit this to the outside. You'd expect some seal off blocks here. But if that's not there, you'd expect the running back to be able to hit it to the inside because you would hope that the defensive end set the edge. And that's why you hit it to the inside. But what you don't expect is for the defensive end to not only contain the outside, but get off the block and make the play to the inside. That is not a normal play right there. But the guy's a very, very, very good run defender. Very strong, very powerful, very physical. And you can watch this guy's tape. He just does this over and over and over again. It's a part of what makes him arguably one of the best run defending defensive ends in the NFL. The guy's powerful, strong, physical. He's able to get after it in pass rush situations as well. Although he's not the best pass rusher in the NFL from the defensive end spot, the guy's very, very solid. He's very, very stout. I think Montez Sweat's one of those guys that's going to come in and have a lot of success for the Chicago Bears. I think he's one of those guys that is a very good overall defensive end. He's one of those guys that for the next five to six years is still going to be in his prime. Like This guy is not a 32-year-old player at the end of his career. This guy just entered his prime. He's going to continue to develop. He's going to continue to get better. I'm very fired up to continue to watch Montez Sweat as we continue to cover the Chicago Bears on this channel. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys do subscribe and I will see you guys next time with another video.